Hey guys, it's Jess. Welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a summer date night get ready with me video for you guys because I am heading out on a little date with my boyfriend tonight. We are heading out to Sash. It's a fairly new restaurant that I've been seeing over Instagram quite a bit. It's actually, weird as it sounds, Japanese and Italian fusion. I don't know what that's gonna be like. On the menu it has things like sushi pizza and sushi tacos and I'm like, mm, tacos aren't really even Italian, so. But we shall see how that goes. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how I created this very soft and glowy summer date night appropriate makeup look. And then if you stay tuned to the end, I'm gonna be vlogging this super weird sounding restaurant as well so you guys can see if it's as strange as it sounds. Stay tuned for that, but for now, let's get started. Okay, so I haven't got any makeup on right now. I'm just going to put on some chapstick. I'm just using the good old Maybelline Baby Lips. This is an old favorite. Just, I repurchased it the other day just on a whim and I've been using it. Does anyone else feel like they're still in high school when they use chapstick? I don't know. I might just clip my fringe back. It's getting in the way. So I haven't got any skincare on at the moment. I've just cleansed and toned my face. So I'm gonna go in with the Clinique Moisture Surge Extended Thirst Relief Moisturizer. This is just a heavy duty moisturizer. And it's so cute. It's actually pink. Look at that. I've been using this for about, oh, like maybe a month or so now. I love Clinique moisturizers. They are some of the best in my opinion. I actually really love the Moisture Surge Overnight Mask, which I don't know whether I've used that in a video before but that is my favorite moisturizing mask it's just the moisturizer from the same range Pop that on there. and then I just gently rub that in mm, that's better Okay, so let's get on to the makeup. First, I'm gonna use the NYX Studio Perfect Photo Loving Primer. I have used this stuff for about two years now, on and off. It is my go-to primer in summer because it really does help your makeup stay in place. Like, I used this primer when I was in Japan, not the last time, but the time before, when I was smack bang in the middle of Japan's crazy humidity. And this stuff held up. It's just like a kind of a silicone primer. I don't know whether it's got actual silicone in it, but it has that silicone primer type feeling. I just apply that all over my face with my fingers. And then I slowly sort of work it into my skin by sort of pressing and smoothing, just so it really fills in all my pores. So for foundation, I'm gonna be using the Rimmel London Lasting Finish 25 Hour with Comfort Serum Foundation. I just use the shade 200 Soft Beige. This is my favorite foundation right now. I just bought it from Kohl's. I think it was half price of for $7 or $9 or something like that. It's just a sort of cream to liquid foundation and it goes on really velvety and stays really, really well throughout the day. So I will apply my makeup in the morning and then by the time I get home from work on a hot summer day, my makeup still looks good. So this foundation is just a need for drugstore. Really good. There's no real method to this. I just pop it everywhere and I just blend it in using my fingers. See, look at that. It just glides right on. It's super smooth. And you don't really need to work with it too much to blend it in either. Look at that. So for my concealer, I've been using two concealers lately. First, I use the Rimmel London Wake Me Up Concealer to cover up my under eye circles. And then I use the Lancome Ultra Wear as my sort of blemish and redness concealer. So I just use the Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer as my under eye concealer because it's a brightening concealer. So it just helps to make that area look a little less tired. And then I just use a damp beauty blender to buff that in. And then I just go in with the Lancome concealer to cover up any redness. So I have a little bit of redness on my cheeks from where I was sunburned. And then I have a couple of cheeky blemishes hanging out over here. So I wanna cover those guys up. So this stuff is super heavy duty as well. You really don't need to use a lot. And I do find it's better to use your fingers to apply this stuff as well because it's kind of, it's kind of thick and super, super pigmented. So if you use a brush or anything, it just tends to streak it up. So I just use the tip of my ring finger to blend this in. That's literally all I need for my entire face. It's tiny little drop. So I just use a sort of like quick patting, slight sweep kind of motion to blend this in. Otherwise it will tend to sort of stick to one area. So you do gotta work a little bit quick with it. 
For my powder, I actually use two different ones. I use the Rimmel, again, Rimmel Stay Matte Long Lasting Pressed Powder to actually set the areas where I tend to get oily because I have combination skin, so I get oily sort of in these areas. My cheeks are fairly dry. And then I go in over the top with a layer of the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Luminous Light. Now, check this stuff out. This is so beautiful. It gives your skin the most gorgeous glowy sort of luminous look to your skin i just like to apply that over my matte powder just so my face can look so flat so i just use the maniket soft focus blush brush to apply my powder if you guys have been watching my videos for a while you know that i like to apply my powder with a blush brush because i like how fluffy they are i just grab a bit of that and i just pat it really gently in the areas that tend to crease or that tend to get oily just to keep that makeup in place I just use the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder just all over that to give my skin a little bit of a glow. I've been using Hourglass Powder products for so long. They are absolutely gorgeous. I've used their blushes, their bronzers, their highlighters, their setting powders. They're all amazing. So if you're in the market for a new setting powder or powder of any kind, just treat yourself to Hourglass. You will not regret it. And just like my setting powder, I just press that into the skin as well. Look at that. So next, I just go in with the Astralis Banana Powder. This is such a beaten up powder. I feel like I've had it for months, if not like almost, <laughs> almost a year. It is definitely running out. I have hit pan, but it's just a really nice sort of pale yellow powder that helps to brighten the under eye area. And I just use a flat kind of rounded brush to just sort of pat and then blend that banana powder in. So dramatic. <laughs> I don't tend to really contour my face, but I do like to have a little bit of a bronze glow happening. So lately I've been going back to this old Hourglass palette. This was their very first limited edition palette they released, I think maybe three years ago, and it was just when they'd released their bronzers. So it has one of their beautiful bronzers in there. It's just this shade here, which is called Luminous Bronze Light, and it is just a really nice sort of warm glowy bronze kind of color so i just use that to sort of contour and warm up the face just using a slanted brush like this and i just go underneath the cheekbones and i just kind of apply that in the area that i want with a slightly tiny circular motion just to blend that in just into the temples and hairline as well i just do that typical three you know that magic bronzer three where you go one two three like that in the shape of a three works for me just bring that down the neck a little bit as well. I also like to use a little bit on the sides of my nose bridge just to sort of streamline that as well because if I've got some bronze happening on the sides of my face, the middle tends to look a little bit flat. So what I do is I just use that same contour brush and I just pinch it so it becomes thinner. So it's, that's what it looks like normally. And then I just pinch it so it becomes a little bit thinner. And then I just go in along the sides of my nose. Nothing too fancy, just along the side. Sometimes I will properly contour on my nose but it's usually when I have an event or something like that tonight is just a cute little date night so you know my boyfriend loves my nose for what it is <laughs> for my highlighter today I am using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrero palette I've had this for ages and I just freaking love it so so I think I'm gonna go in with the shade glow getter it's more of a golden highlight I actually am wearing a sort of a deep yellow dress tonight so I think that gold will be really pretty all right so that is the base makeup done so i'm going to go with my setting spray this is the nyx matte finish this is a fantastic setting spray for summertime it just keeps everything in place seriously it's so good Now it is time for brows. I feel like everyone always does their brows at the beginning of their makeup, but I always do it towards the end. So I just use the Cabral by Benefit. This stuff is getting pretty manky, actually. I've had it for ages. I just, I want to use it all up and there are still heaps in there, but it has like kind of dried up a little bit. <laughs> You know, waste not, want not, guys. I actually have a little bit of a brow on at the moment because I used the Maybelline Tattoo Brow yesterday. So I do have a little bit of that left over, which looks really nice. So I don't need to use too much of the Cabral. I just use the little brush that comes with it. It's super handy. Dip that into the little pot and then I just fill in any areas of my brows that need a little bit of something, something. 
tattoo brad did a really good job actually i don't really have that much to fill in it's mainly the tail of my brow then i just go in with a spoolie to brush those guys out my eyes i'm going to use the maybelline color tattoo in bad to the bronze this is such an old favorite i actually totally forgot about these i used to use the color tattoos way back when like when i was in uni and i loved them then so if you are an og like taken by surprise reader you'll know what i'm talking about but i decided to repurchase one of these um, when i saw it at price sign the other day it just it is so nice like why did i stop using these they are such a nice base for your eyeshadow and you can apply them with your fingers. So, all about that easy life. Coming a little bit closer, I just take a little bit on my fingertips and then just pop that straight onto the eye. Like, look at that. Look at that. Almost no blending required. So, now that I've got my eyeshadow base on, I'm gonna go in with the Natasha Denona palette. I got this from my Beautylish Lucky Bag and I haven't actually broken it out yet. So, really excited to give this a go. So, I'm gonna be going in with the shade Moonstone, which is this really pretty color here. It's actually really similar to Maybelline's Bad to the Bronze, so I thought that would be a nice way to top that guy off. Oh, that is so pretty. Now just tap that literally just on the lid. And then back into the Natasha Denona palette with this gold shade here, which is cool bronze just underneath my um, lash line. And then I'm gonna use the shade Aura, which is this one here, which is a really nice shimmery white gold color just in my inner corner. So now I'm going to go on with the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in the shade Trooper. I think it's Trooper. It's just, yeah, it's Trooper. It's just their black liquid eyeliner. Give myself a little bit of a wing. I think I'm going to go do this off camera because I can't like hold the mirror and then do this at the same time. But give me a second. There we go. There is the liner done. So for my lashes, normally I have eyelash extensions, but I pulled them all out. So I am going to use the Shu Uramura eyelash curler just to give them a little bit of some help. I need more than some help though. <laughs> then I don't really use a lot of mascara, but this is one that I have on hand. This is the Maybelline Lash Sensational. For lipstick, I'm going to be using the Karen Mural lipstick in the shade Cardigan natural this is just a really nice nude lipstick i've been using it for a few weeks now i actually got it in my bella box a couple of months ago and it is so pretty it's just a nice nude shade like this and i've gotten so many compliments on it it's just i don't know it's just that perfect nude you know so that is the finished makeup look guys i am really happy with the way that it turned out everything's very soft and glowy but still that summer date night appropriate so I'm gonna go get changed I actually bought a new dress for the occasion so I'll show you guys what that looks like as well and then my boyfriend and I are gonna head to Sash and have some interesting Japanese Italian blend fusion of cuisine so we'll see how that goes so I'll take my camera along to that as well so I'm gonna get changed and then we'll go Hey guys, so I'm in the car now with my boyfriend. We're just heading to Sash, so makeup's all done. I've got my dress on. You can't really see it in this shot, but it's just a yellow sort of crepe material, flowy wrap dress. It's really, really cute. I'm really happy with it. So we're gonna head to Sash now. Really excited to try their weird, like Japanese Italian food. Apparently they've got sushi pizza and sushi tacos, which just sounds really strange to me. Which one are you looking forward to the most? Sushi pizza. Sushi pizza? Yeah. Sushi pizza. It's because you're Italian. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>